Hello, Christopher Brenton here, coming to you with part two of the discussion between jazz and classical music. So let's recap first. With jazz, we have a lot of improv. Classical music, we really don't have a lot of improvisation going on for the performer because the composer composes everything out note for note. Jazz is a little bit newer. We're talking the last 100 to 150 years. Classical music, we're talking 500 years plus. So, it's a little bit older. Now, a lot of harmonic extensions when we're talking about jazz. A lot of harmonic tension, chromaticism, that makes up a big component. With classical music, we do have those harmonic extensions and that chromaticism, but we also have a sense of basic tonality. So, going back to jazz, we have the big band is the big uh, ensemble. Of course, we do have smaller combos and even solo instrumentalists playing. With classical music, we do have solo instrumentalists, and we also have small ensembles with chamber music down here. But the big component, uh, as far as the ensemble goes, is the symphony orchestra. We don't see the symphony orchestra really so much in jazz, although there are times when that happens. Uh, but it's mostly the big band and the combo that we're talking uh, about when we're dealing with jazz. Now, let me talk about... Uh, a couple other things. We're mainly dealing with Western music here, but with jazz, but also a lot more. We have uh, Latin music, we have the European march, French Impressionism, that was a big influence on Bill Evans. Uh, we have uh, so much. The African sound, the uh, Latin, all these uh, cultures coming together, right? With classical music, we mainly have Western music from Europe, uh, maybe from Russia, and then of course we do have more going on as we get into the 20th century with with everything in, in classical music. There are some composers and uh, performers who fuse the two, uh, putting jazz and classical music together in a sense. Gershwin comes to mind with, with that. So it does happen as we get into the 20th century. Now, while we're talking about the harmony here, uh, if we look at classical music, we often have an Alberti bass. <laughs> triad, right? So if you look at this Mozart sonata, and this melody here, the left hand is basically playing just something simple, right? Uh, now, if we were to look at this with jazz harmony, it wouldn't really be that simple. We would have a lot of this, a lot of these fourths, and this kind of harmony. So that's a big difference when we're talking about uh, the support underneath it. So that's just one uh, concept. Also the idea between straight eighth notes and swing, right? This is another thing I was talking about in another video. So straight eighth notes, that's basically a classical thing. Uh, although of course you do play straight eighth notes in various uh, styles of jazz, but uh, you're also dealing with swing. So that's a big component, too, when you uh, play something in a jazz style. You're going to be looking at swinging it or playing it with a Latin feel or something like that. So uh, so hopefully this gives you some basic ideas on the difference between jazz and classical music. There are other differences and similarities that I could dive into. Maybe I'll make a part three. But um, if you have questions uh, or concerns or ideas, please email me at chrisbrentmusic at gmail.com. Check out my website at www.christopherbrent.com. Thanks so much.